hello 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 and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're heartily heartily welcome and please do consider clicking on that red and blue subscribe button to get yourself subscribed to this channel also turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video on this channel i upload contents on how you can naturally solve most of your health issues benefits of so many natural things diys and so many more so if you're interested in this kind of content in this type of topics please do consider subscribing and also keep on watching this channel today loves i bring to you five things five good things you should not ever share with anyone i think i should say this i should share this with you on this channel because it's something that i believe will be of use to you all right now i know that people do say that when you share what is in your heart with someone your heart feels lighter you feel less burdened but i tell you when you share the right thing with the wrong person or the wrong thing with the right person it comes with consequences yes it comes with consequences that is why you should guide your heart and what zip your tongues zip your lips okay so in this video i'm going to quickly tell you five good things you should never ever share with someone all right the first one the first thing you should not share with someone is your dreams and your goals when you set a goal for yourself when you have a dream keep it to yourself this is the only way you get it actualized this is the only way you're going to meet that goal all right if you have a dream or a goal all you have to do is to work more put more efforts into achieving that and talk less so work more and talk less okay you don't you could not even achieve anything good by sharing it before with someone you only share when you've already actualized that dream you share your success story you share how you began and how you achieved it and not sharing that before you've even achieved that goal okay when you share your dreams with someone especially your friends and your family members you see them applauding you you see them praising you they call you smart they call you intelligent but these things do to damages the first one is that it will make you make mistakes yes because you've already shared this thing and they've called you smart they've called you intelligent they call you all sorts of beautiful things now you you're not pressured into achieving this achieving that goal as fast as possible and this might make you make mistake that will cost the success of that goal so you see why it is better you keep it to yourself until the goal is achieved is reached then the second damage is that when you've already shared it with someone their praises will make you feel that wow i can i can i can get this actualized without it, without doing much you see yourself you're not putting that kind of effort that zeal that was once there will no longer be there because you just believe that this is yours that that goal will be reached by you with or without you lifting a finger which is not so so you see yourself not achieving that goal not actualizing that your dream so you see why it is better to guard your heart and seal your mouth okay the next thing you should never ever share with someone is or oh stop sharing your family disputes family disputes some people just go about sharing their family problems with everyone that cares so listen they just carry it on their head hawking it like goose the only difference is that the normal road hawker is going to exchange his or her goods with money but you are not exchanging your information or what you have to exchange with anything you are just giving out secrets family secrets family problems free of charge at no cost it is not good you see people go about telling people that ah my elder brother that, that man is very wicked He's not even helping anybody. You just start sharing things that even the one they asked you and the one they didn't ask you. So even go ahead telling people that their their uncle is a blood sucker, their mother is is a witch. You start sharing problems, sharing family troubles with someone else that is not a family member. Forgetting that every family dispute arises as a result of misunderstanding, and one day when the time is right, that misunderstanding will surely go that misunderstanding will surely be cleared so what happens everybody comes together as family as one and we forget everything that happened but no one will ever forget with whom you shared that family problem with that family secret with no one will forget that 
so why put yourself into trouble why not just sell zip it and be safe the next thing you should never ever share with someone is your past mistakes see this one is very important your past mistake i tell you there is no one that has never made a mistake that is what makes us human okay if you show me someone a man or a woman without any mistake i'll show you the next lord jesus christ i'm telling you i'll show you the next lord jesus christ everyone has made a mistake at one point or another in his or her life so why make yourself a headline your own a headline for discussion by bringing it or speaking it or talking it into your existence into your into your present why not allow what happened in your past to remain in your past anything that happened in your past should be treated and left in the past bury it and leave it there you have no reason to dig it up the day you decide to dig up your past is the day you've given somebody or someone something to use against you so why do that why not just allow the sleeping dog lie let your past be your past is is of nobody's business is no one's concern your past is your past okay the next thing i do not want you to share with someone is your bank account balance yes this one is equally important your bank account balance when you share your bank account balance with someone what are you doing you are calling up relationship problems you are calling up marriage marriage problems marriage troubles because this person you share this your bank account balance with already knows how much you have in the bank right and when the person has a problem a financial problem the person comes to you asking you for money and for one reason you'll be like no i don't have money to spare this that no matter the reason no matter your excuse the person will still feel bad the person is going to go out go go, go away calling you selfish calling you wicked just because he or she is aware of your bank account balance just like a businessman a businessman might have a lot of money but majority of that money might just be a capital they are all not profits so you might not have told this part to this person you just told the person your bank account balance you see so it's going to lead to relationship troubles relationship problems so why not seal your mouth zip your lips okay and be safe for those of you that will tell me i do not share my bank account balance with anyone other than my wife i tell you even if she's your wife you have no reason to share your bank account balance with her yes i know that things happen we have what we call natural uncertainties but in case of natural uncertainties occurring of the occurrence of natural uncertainties there are things you can do yes there are things you can do such as giving your wife your bank accounts name and your bank account number these two the bank account name and your bank account number whatever happens these two will be enough to solve her problems she don't really need to know your bank account balance there is no need to do that okay so save your relationship today save your marriage today by selling your mouth all right okay loves i believe that this one will be the last one right this one i believe should be the fifth point and this point is do not share a friend's secret with someone normally personally personally for me if you are someone that always talks about somebody you're always speaking about someone is a red flag you can never be my friend I'll just stay far away from you because it shows that you cannot be trusted so I do not see the reason you should be telling another person what another person told you in confidence even if you people are no longer in talking terms they are no longer friends you still have no reason to share the person's secret with another person okay yes the person gave you that gave you and trusted you with that power to destroy him or her but this was given to you in confidence in trust keep it the fact that he trusted you or she trusted you with that power to destroy him or her should not make you to actually do that all right because this you keeping that secret makes you a better human being you keeping that secret makes you a sensible human being that is the word i can find now to act, to qualify that do not share somebody else's secret with another person why do that 
there is no reason it will not pay you in the long run even immediately so there is no payment what do you want to achieve by that by doing that nothing so do not do that stop doing that all right okay love so i've come to the end of today's video if you loved this video as usual please give me thumbs up remember to share my videos with your friends your family members and your loved ones do share my videos with everyone and to everywhere shareable remember i do love you or i do appreciate every one of you okay so thank you thank you thank you and see you in my next video remain blessed bye bye